Today I'm going to be talking about how to get in and out of your bed after knee replacement surgery. The information contained in this video is intended to be used for educational purposes only and in no way represents medical treatment or advice for your specific condition. Any injury sustained while performing these exercises is solely the responsibility of the individual performing these exercises. Next level physical therapy and its partners disclaim any and all liability from injuries sustained from performing the exercises demonstrated in this video. As always, it is best to consult personally with your medical healthcare provider for a personalized treatment plan to address your specific issues. I'm Dr. Wong with Nick's Low Physical Therapy, and this channel is dedicated to helping people like you get out of pain naturally without relying on medications, injections, or necessary surgery. Having a good night's rest is one of the most important things that you can do to ensure faster recovery after surgery. The problem most patients have after knee replacement surgery is that they have a hard time getting in and out of bed, especially when the knee is swollen, painful, or inflamed. Some of you might have a low bed or a high bed, and we're gonna talk about some modifications that you can make to improve your bed transfers. We're gonna talk about two ways to get in and out of a high bed. The first way is a triple S method, also known as a stool, scoot, and strap method. What you wanna do is put your stool next to the bed and sit your butt against your bed, and then put the non-surgical leg onto the stool. You're gonna use both arms to scoot your butt deeper into the bed as you use the foot on the stool to get you over the edge. Once you're sitting on the edge of the bed, I would suggest you turn into the bed where the end position of the surgical knee is close to the side that you'll be getting out. A tool that I find very beneficial is a leg lifter strap. Essentially, when your knee is stiff and painful, the strap can take pressure off the knees with transfers. What you wanna do is turn the good leg on the bed first and then scoot into the bed to give the surgical leg some space. In order to get out of bed from a lying down position, the first thing you want to do is use both arms to prop you into a long sit position. From there, you want to use a leg strap to hold the surgical knee as you rotate the body towards the side that you'll be standing up from. Make sure you control the knee to limit quick jerky motions. Scoot towards the edge of the bed and use both hands to push you into a standing position. For those of you who don't have a leg strap after total knee replacement, there's a technique I teach called the stop, drop, and roll. You want to come as close to the bed as possible with the surgical knee right next to the bed. Lean forward to drop your torso and arms onto the bed. You're putting weight on your non-surgical knee and the surgical knee is tilting backward until it's on the bed. Once you're in the bed, you can adjust to the position that you'll be sleeping in. In order to get out of bed without a leg strap, I would get into a long sitting position to start. Then the next thing I would do is hook my non-surgical leg under the surgical knee to control it as I rotate towards the side of the bed. From there, I would push off the bed to stand. For those of your low beds, it will be easier to get in. However, it will be harder to stand off from a lower surface. In order to get in and out of a low bed, you can use either of the techniques that we just demonstrated. One way you can make it easier to get up from a low bed is to put something firm on the both hands to push off of. In my case, I have some foam pads on both sides of my arms where I can lean forward and push down on. If you don't have these pads, you can use firm pillows or books as your push off objects. So let's review. The two techniques to get into a high bed is the stool, scoot, and strap method and the stop, drop, and roll. You can also use these methods for a low bed as well. To get out of bed, you can use a leg strap or good knee to hold up the surgical knee while you turn towards the edge of the bed. On low beds, you might want to consider getting something firm to push under your arm to get up easier. If you have any questions, please comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you found these videos helpful, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on our weekly videos. As always, move better, age stronger, and I'll see you on the other side.